folks in the house, how's everybody doing today? Uh, I haven't done a video for a while, so I'd throw one out there. And uh, yeah, I got the Christmas music going and uh, getting in season a little bit. Have the tree up over in the corner, but have not decorated it. Just throw the lights on. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> so that's, yeah, not decorated. So we'll get to that hopefully this weekend. Took the folks out for a real tree today, so it was kind of nice. Um, uh, weather was decent. I kind of heard that uh, it's supposed to rain snow tomorrow, so I thought I'd get them out uh, while they could with uh, decent weather. Um, so I got a nice tree for them and uh, put that up over by them, and they'll be decorating that in. Uh, next couple days, I uh, just wanted to get the tree while well, it was kind of a decent day to get them out and about. And uh, But otherwise, uh, same old, same old for the most part. The uh, weather was pretty crazy today for being December uh, 10th, uh, upper 40s and uh, decent. Um, so that's about it for that uh, say thanks to all my uh, subscribers out there and uh, appreciate uh, watch my videos and any comments that are given uh, tonight's gonna be a disappointing movie night um, basically got movies that are below four scores and um, I look at it that they're even the one that there's one that got a 2.5 and um, the concept of the movie was okay, so I kind of, it's like, I don't know, sometimes I wonder where they get the movie that it gets so low. Um, there's some, and I'll try to explain it uh, through that. Um, but, uh, yeah, if anybody, and you know what, I'm looking to see whoever watches the video, and if they're still watching at this time, is give me a, a bad movie that you can mention. Um, I was going to say recommend a bad movie, but no, uh, I'd like to hear from you in uh, regards to on this video, uh, some bad movies uh, that you'd be like, yeah, not so much. And I'm fine with it. And uh, just try to have some fun with it and see what kind of comments of I get if anybody's uh, listening this far into the video. Uh, so more or less, mine are science fiction and uh, a Western horror flick. Um so I have a total of four movies I'm going to go over. I streamed them uh, each. Just uh, start with, I guess, the one that has the biggest name, um, Stranded Sci-Fi Horror, 2013. It's got a 3.5, and it's Christian Slater. Um, basically, alien spores end up uh, attacking a space colony, and... The one thing that's funny about this movie in the beginning is it starts off with, I don't know if anybody remembers the 50s, 60s Godzilla movies with the tanks and the how the vehicles were. That's how the colony they made it look. And this movie's 2013. Right there, I mean, it, this got a 3.5. So if you take that out, I think you get to a 4. Um, I thought people bash this a little bit. I really thought it was a mind, uh, messing with the mind, paranoia kind of thing going on in this. And there's, there's some horror in it. Um, I know that some of it is cheesy, but, uh, the 3.5, I mean, I, I, again, there's, it just, you can't get past this, the models that they use for outside the buildings and stuff, which doesn't matter for this. It's almost a point. It's like, why'd you even show that? Um, <laughs> it just... It basically kind of made me laugh. It reminded me of watching Godzilla movies. But the storyline, I thought, uh, again, you had some paranoia. And um, for a horror flick, uh, science fiction, it does the job. Uh, so that one, again, uh, okay. Uh, then I went with Post Impact 2004, um, Meteor Hits Earth. I think they say 2012, and uh, causes a ice age, and this stars Dean K and Joanna Taylor. Um, again, this has another th scene with some. Uh, 
I can't even think of them. Uh, it's like uh, not uh, snowmobiles, like it, like uh, ski transport vehicles. Um, but they, there's yeah, again where it, it's to a point. It's like, was it worth using the computerized special effects um, to kind of go down a cheesy road? Again, it's to a point. It's like so it, the editing. It's like either cut some of it out it it just was the way the film works and all of a sudden you have this special effects that comes in for these vehicles and it just goes a different the film quality changes and it's just something that yeah it's got a 3.2 um but again uh storylines there they have to try to see about some survivors and seeing about uh, if they can get uh earth back on right track um, I'm going to stick with the sci-fi kind of thing. Uh, went with a movie from UK called Stalked, uh, 2019. This got a 2.5. Um, so Natalie Buscombe and Rebecca Rogers are in this. And basically a mother, uh, she's a former special forces, uh, uh army. And she's taking care of her daughter and has to get some medicine. And when she leaves the house, she gets uh, kidnapped and she ends up being put in a factory. And it's an invisible presence uh, that starts. I, I kind of don't want to give too much out on that. Um, so there is a storyline concept there. Uh, low budget. Again, these are all low budget films. Um, but uh, the ratings, I just, I, I mean, if you watch the movie and uh, see how it works, I don't know. I just, uh, sometimes you wonder where, what they're watching. And then this is, goes for me too. Um, but uh, there is a storyline. It's almost like you could re maybe somebody remake it with a bigger budget. Um, last one is a Western horror, Blood Moon. 2014, uh, George Blegden and Sean Dooley are in this, and basically some bandits uh, hold up a stagecoach, and uh, more or less it's survival with the beast that's running around. Um, again, another low-budget film. This one I think had the highest rating. I did not write it down, but it, I want to say it was like 4.5 or something like that. Um, so, again, this is uh, not high, not quality movie night. Uh, and so I decided to cover that. I should have covered maybe a couple more on my list. But I thought I'd go with the four. And I'm trying to do my videos to be under 10 minutes uh, or around 10 minutes. Um, so that's that. I hope uh, everybody is getting ready for uh, Christmas and the holidays. Um a crazy world out there. Uh, it just, I don't know, like it took the parents out for uh, looking for a tree, which was, was kind of nice, um, especially with the weather. Uh, it wasn't too cold for them. So enjoyed that. Um, weekend's coming, so I do have my apartment uh, decorated a little bit and uh, have the Christmas music going on. So I hope everybody gets to enjoy. Um, again, if you get a chance, uh, make some comments on some bad movies. Uh, would love to hear some uh, to put out there and get some conversation going. And uh, if anybody watches any of my previous videos, uh, give a comment. Uh, would love it. Uh, good, bad, whatever. So uh, talk to you guys in a few days and. Uh, I have some holiday movies and uh, to talk about uh, a few, uh, so we will do that down the road and go from there. Have a good one, and thanks again for watching. Bye.